Well, new tonight, the U.S. Air Force's U-2 spy plane has been flying over the skies of California since it first became active in 1955. That's 60 years ago. And in all that time, there have only been 1,000 U-2 pilots and only one African-American female. KCRA 3's Mike Carroll introduces us to Lieutenant Colonel Merrill Tegersdale. You know, the, just the quietness um, as you're climbing up, you start seeing that earth getting, you know, just a little rounder, and you're like, well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty far up here. This is how Lieutenant Merrill Tengistall feels when she flies high, meaning flying above 60,000 feet, 11 miles above the earth, more than twice the height of Mount Everest. And she can still fly more than two miles higher than that. It's kind of like, oh, well, you know, I'm starting to leave a planet that I've just been born and raised in. <laughs> Meryl Tangestall wore her first uniform as a U.S. Navy helicopter pilot. Deep inside the core, I'm a Navy person. Then she transferred to the Air Force 10 years ago to fly the U-2, the classic Cold War spy plane that is still flying military missions today. You can't mess with perfection. It's a great platform. That's why it's stuck around and has lived through the times. I always wanted to be a NASA astronaut, that, and this is what has dr driven me. This has driven her to now fly missions on the edges of space. Uh, so when we go high, we wear these suits. It should also be noted that every mission a U-2 pilot flies is classified, and each mission is flown at altitudes that, even in a pressurized flight suit, are endurance tests for the human body. A U-2 pilot can only fly once every three days. And that's just because of the physiological pressures that you sustain while you're flying at a high altitude. Lieutenant Colonel Merrill Tangestall has piloted a plane higher, right to the edges of the Earth's atmosphere, than any other African-American woman has ever flown. She was once flying a U-2 at night, high above the Earth, when... As I'm looking outside, I see a shooting star, and it goes under my aircraft. I just thought that was one of the most coolest moments. I was like, this is kind of, this is kind of, um, this is kind of bad right now, you know. Lieutenant Colonel Merrill Tengestall. Her heart is Navy, but her soul flies at the borders of the heavens. I feel my hard work throughout the years have paid off, and it's... It's a beautiful thing. At Beale Air Force Base, I'm Mike Carroll, KCRA 3 News. Beautiful story. Mm -hmm. I guess you really know how high you are mm -hmm. when a shooting star goes under your aircraft. Mm -hmm. Tankasaw was recently promoted to Colonel at Beale. What Air an Force amazing Base. woman and yeah. what an amazing life to look back on someday.